That is a great story and it might be having you ask yourself, do you need a second chance? This morning we're getting some great career advice from Aisha Cogburn who helps people find clarity and confidence to build the career of our dreams and we can start by doing so, sending out an SOS, making a great plan and congratulations on your book. Thank you, thank you. Yes, I tell you, no matter who we are or what we've been through, we're all gonna find a point in our lives where we need, need to start over yes. strategically. And it could be any number of things, but we've got some great tips to help you do that today. Starting over sounds scary. When you add the strategically, it sounds like, okay, put me on a plan of action and I can actually facilitate some change to get myself in a happier space. So let's start first by being specific about what you want. And that's really important. It's very important. I mean, if you say, okay, I wanna make more money. Well, how much more money? $100 a month, $100 a week? There's a big difference mm -hmm. there. And so knowing, just getting crystal clear on what it is that you want, even if it's building a better relationship with a, a loved one or your spouse, knowing what that looks like is going to help you to create the best path to get there. That is so smart. Okay, so your O for SOS is ownership. Take ownership of your actions. I think sometimes when, when people get put off of a path, maybe they get let go from a job, they find themselves disappointed or they've done something that took them off their plan they beat themselves up and they waste too much time we either beat ourselves up or we fall into the victim role. Okay. And life isn't fair. I mean, mm -hmm. that's, it's just the reality. But no matter what situation you find yourself in, there are always ways to take back that power. Mm -hmm. And there are specific actions, no matter how teeny tiny they are, that can move you closer to where it is that you want to be. And if you've gotten where you are because maybe you've made some mistakes or had bad judgment, getting to the root of what caused that will help you to keep from making that same mistake again. Yeah, you got to make sure that you're going to improve your yourself the next time around for the next opportunity. This the next S, S of SOS is focus on your strengths. And that is sometimes hard to hone in on because you're, it's easy to tell your friends, oh, Aisha, you're amazing, you're a dynamic speaker. It's harder to look in the mirror and say, what are my real strengths? Yeah, we don't all have what I like to call these bright, shiny strengths, you know, but they're all important. And so if you're struggling to figure out what you're good at, enlist the help of those people who know you, who may be able to give you some very specific feedback, but we've got to also let go of this notion of being perfect because nobody's perfect. We all have things that we're not good at, but put a floodlight on your strengths and focus on those things that you are good at. And it's a good idea to maybe keep track of those when you get positive feedback from your boss or during a review and, and then you're hitting a wall thinking, okay, what should I do to sell myself? Well, maybe you've got some documentation along the way. Absolutely. I, I When I was in corporate America, I literally had a Word document uh -huh. and I kept track of every wonderful thing I did, wow. every positive feedback, anything I accomplished. And so when it came time for me to do my reviews mm -hmm. or say what difference am I making, what's my contribution, I could come to this document and it was all there. That's another brilliant idea. Aisha, thank you so much. Your, the book is On Purpose, Practical Strategies to Live Your Best Life. We can get it on your website as well. Yes, and you can uh, actually download a free chapter if you go to AishaOnPurpose.com. Thank you so much. Thank you. Great insight.